Okay, airlocks in radiators. Um, with the modern um, pipe work, this tiny microbore pipe work, quite often you get uh, airlocks in radiators. You'll know that because you'll have one or two radiators that will just refuse to run. The rest will run fine, everything will run fine. It'll just be one or two that are really, really slow or really, really poor. There's quite an easy way to deal with this. What you need to do, go around the whole house, shut off all the radiators except for the one that doesn't work and another one. Let the system run for half an hour. See whether it clears it and it brings this ra the radiator that's at fault back into life. If it doesn't, while it's all still running, while the heating's still running, go round and shut off the other radiator that you left open. Close it off and see whether it makes the other radiator run. If it still doesn't, and what's usually happening is either there's muck and debris at the bottom here that's just just stopping it running because bear in mind the water will take the path of least resistance so if it's a little bit blocked here it'll just go to another radiator it doesn't care <clears throat> so every radiator's off except the radiator that you wanna want that doesn't work if it's still not going or oh, the other thing that blocks it by the way is air you'll find that there's a little bit of pipe work that just gives a little bit of a rise somewhere in the property could be anywhere under a floor the air gets trapped that blocks the water Anyway, you usually know before these radiators start to run, you usually know because there'll be a little bit of a gurgle as it throws the air through and then it starts to work. Okay, so you turned off all the radiators, you've run the system, it hasn't managed to push it through. Other tricks are um, try turning off the hot water if you've got a hot water control, if it's a system um, and you've got a cylinder, turn off the hot water, run just the central heating, try that, that might force it through. But if not, right, what we need to do is to clear the air. As you can imagine, um, right here there's two pipes, one for each end of the radiator. If I bleed this now, all that's going to happen is water is going to come through from whichever one of these pipes is not airlocked. That's not going to help me. So what we need to do is we need to force water to come through the pipe that is, that is currently airlocked. Now, you're going to need to know how to repressurize your system, probably, because if you're going to bleed a lot of water out, you need, need to know how to top it up. If you don't know how to, look on YouTube, how to top up my boiler, it'll show you. Anyway, <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we're going to go and we're going to force water through one pipe. So first of all, we're going to go through and we're going to shut off the control valve, the easy one, like that. We're then going to get our bleed key and a little bucket. It's not always as easy as this, but your bleed key and a little bucket. And we're going to bleed the radiator through that one pipe. We're going to bleed about a pint out. It's not a old pint, half a pint of pint. Listen for a gurgle. If you suddenly hear a gurgle noise in the radiator, you probably got it. So we're going to bleed about half a pint out that way. If we get nothing, if we get no improvement, the radiator will get warm um, just because it's drawing hot water into itself. But it's not circulating. If, it, it, you know, it's, if it's just warm, it's not right. If it still hasn't come through and it hasn't started working that way, we're going to shut that off. Like that. We're going to go back down to this radiator valve. We're probably get, at this point going to top our system up again or at least check the pressure. We're going to open that valve up. We're then going to go to the other side there and we're going to shut this one off. So what we're doing now, so I'm going to shut that off there. So what I'm doing now is <clears throat> when I'd shut that one off, I was forcing water to come through this pipe, up the radiator, and out there. So if there was any air in that pipe, it would have pulled it through. Now what I'm doing, I've closed that one, I've opened that one, so it's going to bring any water through, uh, any airlock through that pipe, up into the radiator, up and across into the bleed valve. So all we'll do now is we will just bleed it again. So it's the same deal. Open it up, get half a pint out, ish depends how seriously your system's done for um get half a pint out again listen for the gurgle it's usually a gurgle um because it's usually a bit of air um air in the system is down to corrosion usually we'll look at that in another video but yeah um bleed it through and that should get you going well that's the trick that i as a plumber use it's been successful every time and there we are. So, in conclusion, shut off every radiator except two. Try that. Shut off every radiator except the damaged one. Oh, sorry, the, the not working one. Try that. Next step, turn off the hot water. 
Try running it again, see whether that does it. If not, shut off the easy valve, bleed about half a pint, half a pint a pint, top it up again. If it's still not working, shut off the lock shield, the less easy one, bleed it, well, and obviously keep that open, bleed it through again. See if, um, see if you can get it to, uh, to come through. And usually a gurgle means the air's cleared, it should be all right. There we are, folks, hope that helps.